Hey folks, what's going on? Joe Wagner here. And I want to talk to you about the three reasons why you should not start a payment processing business. I've got a lot of these training videos. If you like them, I ask that you subscribe, like them, share them with other colleagues that you have in the industry. But for now, let's get into this. Three reasons not to start in the payment processing industry. Number one is it is hard work, okay? It is not a simple product to go out there and sell. The customers do not come knock on your door and say, sign me up. It is not easy, okay? My company is called Easy Pay, and it's not because it's not hard work. It's because the program is such a no-brainer. That's a whole nother video, though. Number two is a lot of rejection. You are going to get far more rejection than people that say, sign me up, okay? So if you're not willing to have thick skin and take rejection, you should definitely not get into the payment processing business. And number three is this takes time to build. Okay, believe it or not, this is not gonna make you financially free in your first 30, 60 days in the industry. You might sign a couple monster accounts, there might be a few exceptions of somebody that got a huge jump start, but for the average Joe, for the average anybody out there, this takes time to build. Yeah, I've been doing this as I shoot this video for over a decade, and it took a long time. Thanks to the cash discount program, it is a lot faster now than it ever was before, but it is not going to happen overnight. So those are three huge reasons why you should not start the payment processing business. And I threw a bonus one in there for you. It's there's no guarantee. Okay. We are 1099 independent business owners. We are entrepreneurs. Like they say, we're the ones that are willing to work 80 hours a week to avoid working 40 for someone else. And there's another catch to that. You can work a hundred hours a week and not make money okay if you don't have the skill if you don't have the work ethic if you're not able to actually get people to do business with you there's no guarantee you're going to make money so i want to translate those reasons for you into really really simple terms it's hard work means you're going to need to put in enough time and effort for this to actually have a chance okay you get into this you are a business owner now you need to treat this like a business if you treat it like a hobby it's going to pay you like one if you treat it like a business you might just make a business out of it, okay? So a lot of rejection means you should be getting way more rejection than signups. Okay, if you're expecting to talk to 10 people and get seven people to be your clients, you are in the wrong industry. That is not how this works. You need to have thick skin. You need to go into this knowing that I'm gonna have to go talk to a lot of people to get a couple of clients, okay? So just know that going into it and it takes time to build. What if it takes a couple of years to become financially free in this industry. Are you willing to do that? Okay, if you're looking for some get rich quick, or you're looking to make some huge money and you know, I love the emails I get like, I need to get started like yesterday because I've got a bunch of bills to pay and I just quit my job. Okay, bad, bad way to start the business. Because what if it takes time for you to, first of all, learn how to even get productive to begin with? And even when you are productive, what if it takes you a couple of years before that residual income replaces the money that you think that you have to make. So you got to know that this is a long play. This isn't the, the hare. We are the tortoise in the tortoise and the hare story. We all want to do it as quickly as possible. I wrote a book on how to reach financial freedom and a hundred grand in residual income within 180 days. So I'm all about doing it quickly. I'm just saying that be realistic and understand that it, does take time for the average person to get this thing built. Again, thanks to the cash discount program, it has sped up by five to 10 times. But even with that, you still need to know it's not a get rich quick overnight deal here, right? And then the bonus one, there's no guarantee. Entrepreneurs bet on themselves with no guarantees on making money. In my book, I'll put the link below for this chapter. It's called a gamble or a guarantee. And that's where a real entrepreneur that has confidence in their work ethic and they know that the result is based on them, the only guarantee they need is in their self. But there's no guarantee in the outcome of your business, especially if you don't treat it like a business. So just know that as an entrepreneur, there's the fine print right there. No guarantees. If you want a guarantee, guarantee yourself that you're going to do it. So I want to give you one reason why none of those reasons should matter to those that are willing to bet on their self. And that one reason why those reasons shouldn't scare you away is the result of this industry is owning your life. Owning your life means time and money freedom. It means when you stop working, 
you now have the financial resources to go and do the things that you want to do. If you have three kids and a wife like I do, when you stop working, the money comes in in such an abundant amount, you can go to Hawaii whenever you feel like it. The only thing holding us back sometimes is the kids are in school. And even that, we pull them out so we can go play, okay? So that's what owning your life is. None of those reasons that this is hard, you're going to get a lot of rejection, it takes time to build and there's no guarantees. None of those should matter because the one reason why you should do this is the result is owning your life. So folks, I want to talk to you about increasing your odds. I don't see any reason why anyone should go and learn this whole industry from themselves if you're just getting started or even if you're in the industry and you want to increase your sales. Take some tips. Go find somebody that can help you out and duplicate success. So whether it's with me or with somebody else, doesn't matter. But anytime I want to learn some, something, I go and invest in a course or I go hire a mentor or I find a coach. Tony Robbins talks about the same thing. The quickest way to success is just mirror somebody that's already done it. So if you're interested in that, here's a link to my coaching site. It's about the end result, which is a lifestyle. Stop trading time for money. If you want to have a residual income that creates an amazing lifestyle, whatever that lifestyle is for you, this industry can do it. If you can get over all those reasons why not to do this business and just remember the one reason why you should, and that is because the result. Folks, my name is Joe Wagner. Hope to see you on the inside. Check out the links below. I'll put in a link to my book, the chapter I was talking about, a link to the coaching. We hope to see you at the top and definitely hope to see you on the inside. Take care.